If you can turn, you can slide. All right, Sean here, Shop Task YYC in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Calgary, Alberta. Had a wonderful week. The weather's been amazing. Leon Bassin and Colin Brady were visiting earlier this week. They taught me even more of what they're up to in that kind of wizard, three-turn, fancy feet skating. Taught me stuff that I had not understood myself yet, so it was really cool. So processing everything. Can't wait to present that to you at a later date. Today's topic is going to be parallel slides. So parallel slide is one of those moves, also known as a hockey stop, one of those moves that um, everybody wants to be able to do. It's very, very satisfying. Once you get it mastered, you can bust it out. It's awe-inspiring. It's powerful yet graceful. It's one of those really cool skating moves. But, you know, if you haven't mastered that one yet, there's a few things we can think about. Um, and I'm going to show you that we're going to help us break it down and better understand it. But, you know, let's get into those right now. So our components of our parallel slide are going to be our edges, compression, rotation, and weight transfer. So the edges are going to be the same as a turn. You're going to be on your corresponding edges, one inside, one outside edge. I think most of us got that. Compression. Compression is the bending and flexing of our ankles. No, sorry, the bending of our knees, the flexing of our ankles. So I'm bending my knees, pushing my uh, shin into the front of my skate as I'm bending my, flexing my ankle. And then the weight transfer is, in this case, it's going to be into our heels. We're going to be kind of pushing through our heels. So the compression and the weight transfer go together as well as the edging and the counter rotation. So let's watch a few. So this is me down at the rink. Now one thing to consider is the surface that you're practicing on. If you can find a flat concrete surface that's fairly smooth, you're going to have better results. Certainly the smoother the surface, the easier it's going to be to slide, um, but it doesn't have to be super smooth, right? And you're going to want to practice this on different surfaces as you go. Okay, so now we're getting into kind of the static motion, things you can practice to help you get better at this. So here I am just working on my compression, bending on my knees, flexing my ankles. Now combining that with the edging. So you'll see me sink down and rise up. That's my compression and decompression. Now the decompression as I'm rising up is going to be putting my weight into my heels. So that's going to be the weight transfer. Practicing the same motion while I'm rolling now. Bending my knees. Good. Transferring the weight into my heels as I lift up. So now the counter rotation. See now the counter rotation is going to be opposite of my turn. Instead of having my hands in front, rotating them to the side, you're going to see my hands to the side, bringing them in front. There it is. That's what's going to create the slide, these four things together. So I'm going nice and slow, skate, skate, set up with the counter rotation, edging, and then following through with the rotation and the weight transfer into my heels. Skate, skate. So I'm setting up edge, counter rotate, as I decompress, weight into my heels, rotating my hands in front. Cool. Going a little bit faster now, and you can see the results. Cool. Getting better and better with each one. Okay, pause here for a second. The few strategies now for learning this. Um, if what I showed you there doesn't work, just gliding on our edges with our hands to the side, and then rotating our hands in front as we kind of push through our heels, that weight transfer. Also try this from a turning position. So watching me here, I'm turning and then counter rotating. That's not the best example. I think this next one's better. So you see me rotating into the turn, counter rotating. So if you're comfortable with your turns, rotating into the turn and then counter rotating into the slide will help you develop the feel. Another good strategy is slaloming into it. So I'm slaloming into these ones. That's going to help me get onto the edges and create that counter rotation. Now, weight distribution. <laughs> you see me here falling. Too much weight on my back foot. When you're sliding, as best as you can to 50-50 would be the best. Okay, thank you for watching. Namaste, I bow. Please like, subscribe comment. If you have any questions, please ask me your questions. Visit our website, shoptask.ca, for all your skating needs. We'd really appreciate the support. And we've been getting lots of support too. I've been getting phone calls and emails and messages from people that are interested in my wizard setup and where they can get it. And I'm super happy to help um, 
kind of curate that for you. If I can help you uh, navigate through the ordering process or answer any of your questions, please, please, please let me know. I'd be very happy to do so. Okay. Thanks again, my friends.